This problem says, find the value of the variables. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. So let's take a look at our triangle. This is a right triangle. And we're given an angle and only one side length. We don't know two of the side lengths. If we knew two of the side lengths, then we could use the Pythagorean theorem to find the third side length. But since we only know one of the side lengths, we can't. However, since we know the angle as well, we can use a trig ratio. So if we start from looking at from the perspective of the 12 degree angle, the opposite side is the side that's not touching this angle, which is the X. So this side over here is opposite. The side that's touching but's not opposite from the right angle is the adjacent side. And the side that's opposite from the right angle is the hypotenuse. From here, now that we've identified our sides, we want to use a trig ratio that has one of our variables and one number for our side lengths and not both side lengths being variables. So if we look at the opposite side length and the hypotenuse, the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse is the sine. So we can use that the sine of the angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Plugging in the numbers that we have would be sine of 12 degrees is equal to the opposite side, which we have as x, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 16. So now what we can do to solve for x is to multiply both sides by 16. That cancels out the 16 on the denominator and just leaves us with x. From here, we can grab our calculator. Make sure since our angle is in degrees that you have your calculator set in degrees. So we can do 16 times the sine of 12 degrees. And I get that to be 3.326 and it keeps going. It says to round the answer to the nearest tenth. The tenth is the first place behind the decimal, so we need to write, round it to the three. The two behind it is, or the two to the right of it is not greater than five, so it'll stay the same. So x will be equal to 3.3. From here in our second step, we could just plug in the 3.3 here and then use the Pythagorean theorem to find y. But I'm going to use the, um, another trig ratio to find y. So y is the adjacent side, and we already know the hypotenuse. So adjacent, the adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. We can say that the cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So then plugging the numbers that we have in, we have the cosine of 12 degrees is equal to the adjacent side, which is the y, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 16. Let me give myself a little more room here to finish. And again, the y is on top, so all we need to do is multiply both sides by 16 to cancel out this 16 in the denominator. And it gives us y is equal to, grabbing our calculator again, 16 times the cosine of 12. I get that to be 15.65. We need to round to the tenths place again, which Rounding to the tenths place, this time the number to the right of the tenths place is five or larger. So we need to add one to the tenths place. That makes 15.7 would be our value of y. So I hope this homework help solution was helpful for you. If it was, please smash that like button and also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more step-by-step um, -step solutions like this one. Take a look in the description. Um, there's some links if you're interested in tutoring or if you would like to um, support my homework help um, project of bringing homework help solutions for people who might not be able to afford a tutor. If you'd like to, um, to support that project.
project, then please take a look at my links in the description. Thanks for watching.